All right, hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're talking about the Christmas event. This event has started just recently. Couldn't get a video out the immediate day, but I can get one out uh, right now. So I just did it as soon as I could. But yeah, we're gonna be talking about all of the Christmas events, all three of the events going on right here. Um, and I will have probably a separate video for the auction. Uh, I might skip this week, honestly, because it's been going on for so long already, but I might do a video about the following weeks of the auction and what deals are worth it and what are not. But I think I might just skip this week. Uh, we'll see, though. All right. But yeah, the Christmas event, the main event is this one right here. We'll get to that in a second. But first, we're going to talk about this one, Mountains of Gifts. This is a really easy event. Just win a battle, and you're going to get uh, the things you need to collect these right here. It's really simple. Just win a battle. Best reward is going to be these right here. You're going to get 100 gold from those minimum if you play tier 10. Uh, so, you know, just get these. Super easy to do. Just win battles. It's nothing hard at all. But then we have the main event right here. Now, this is the, of course, main Christmas event. There are two different parts of it. You got the stuff on the bottom here with the snow globes and crates, and then you just have the progression stage. So, of course, you get two jingle bells for every win, and to get the snow globe, you need, like, 450 wins, I believe, so, you know, or 450 jingle bells, so, you know, 220 uh, wins, plus, if you want to get this, this is a lot less. It's uh, hardly any. It's, like, 200 less, so it's just, like, another... 50, 60 maybe, I think, I can't remember, well, another 100, never mind, it's another 100, so another 50 wins if you want the Type 62, I believe the compensation is just 100,000 credits uh, for the, uh, that's the compensation, I believe, um, but yeah, so that is how you get uh, the Type 62 and stuff, now to get the Snow Globe, of course, like I said, you need a, a few more wins, and of course, you can also get these other rewards in here, best of these other rewards, of course, is going to be these gold boosters right here, you're going to get a minimum of 250 gold if you play tier 10 with them. Uh, but yeah, so that's pretty simple. That part is simple. But now we get to the fun stuff. We got these crates and we got these crates. So I'll go over the free XP crates first. And these are going to be 50,000 each. The next stage is 75,000 after you've bought 50 of them. But the rewards for here, you have these tanks right here, just these low tier tanks. Then you have 75 to 5,000 gold which is really the main thing you want. And then you have, I believe, a 2% drop chance for snow globes. If I go down here, yes, a 2% drop chance of a snow globe. And, of course, the uh, juicy stuff right here is the gold as well. You have eight, a 20% drop chance for 75 gold, 10% for 150, 5% for 350, 1% 1 for 1,000, and 0.5% for 5,000. Now, the funny thing is, if you watch my video, you already know what happened, but the... Uh, this is funny, I got the 5,000 and the 1,000 gold, but no snow globes. So I had the 1% chance thing, which is half as likely as me to get as a snow globe, and the 0.5, which is four times less likely. And I got both of them and didn't get a snow globe. So, I mean, I got the gold, which is pretty nice. I was able to get more of the other Christmas crates uh, with, which didn't go very well. But, yeah, I only got the, or no, I didn't get any silvers for that. But that's funny. I did get super lucky with the gold, though, because I only got, like, 20 crates. I only spent 900,000 free XP, basically. So, I got super lucky. I highly recommend, if you have a lot of free XP, and if you're someone like me who has almost every tank in the game, there's literally almost no reason to have free XP. Just spend all of it and you will get a lot of gold and probably a snow globe or two if you spend a, a lot. So it is super worth it. One thing I think everyone should do throughout the entire year is save as much free XP as you can because then if you have five, six, ten, if you have 10 million plus free XP, you could get like half the event done for free. And that's pretty insane. So, you know, next year I'm going to try to do it again. I didn't do it as much this year because there were some new tanks uh, and stuff and stuff that I free XP'd. But I'm going to try to save up as much free XP as possible for next year because uh, I want to get that free snow globe. But then getting over to here, the gold crates, 1,500 gold. In here we have a few different tanks. Lane compensations, though. T2020, bad. Chrome will be not bad. Excelsior, not bad. PZ54, not bad. T6E1 Grizzly, you know, tier 4, not really important. So most of the things in here, just a few camos, you can get credits in here as well, which I did get all of the credits in here. Here's the funny thing. Uh, I got like the 1 million credits two, three times, the 500 million credits, I mean 500,000 credits like four, three, four times. Yeah, I got one snow globe. Yeah, th those have both lower drop chances than the than the snow globe. And yeah, I only got one snow globe. So 20,000 gold and only one snow globe is way below the average that was very unfortunate and i had 
and I got the Lance and Z, which is basically a useless tank that I did not care at all about. So that was pretty unfortunate. I really got kind of nothing basically from that entire thing. Very unfortunate. But yeah, this is how you progress through the event, of course, uh, to get your snow globes there with that 10% drop chance per crate. And as well, you if you collect, uh, if you buy five crates, you get a free crate for every five you buy as well. And then, of course, getting to the snow globes, we get to the drop chances here. 1% for the STR VK and the Caro. And then all the other tier 10s are two. Uh, some of them are three, like the T22. Tier 9s, 2, 3, tier 8, 5, 3. You know, you can see the drop, drop chances all for yourself. The compensation is not bad at all. 5,000 for the tier 7s, tier 8s, or 5,000 as well. Then you have 6,000 for some tier, uh, for the tier 9s, 7,500 for the tier 10s. And if you get the STRVK twice, you get 15,000 gold for that. So that's a lot of gold. That's pretty nice. Yeah, not bad compensations. A lot of pretty crappy tanks in here. To me, this is way more tanks in the snow globes than last year. Like, stuff that just doesn't need to be in here. Like, the T-77 M4-Yo. Like, why? Why? The, of course, the almighty Lance and C. Oh, such, yeah. Just, I really wish those weren't in there. And, of course, they have the highest drop chances, so that's what you're most likely to get, which is very unfortunate, you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, anyway, but, yeah, that is if you collect or if you don't get it for the, uh, 1% drop chance, very unlikely that you will, but if you do, awesome, Congra congratulations. You, if you get 10 snow globes, you can get the Caro, uh, I mean the STRVK on that 10 snow globe, of course, guaranteed. So it's just like with crates with that. But yeah, that is the Christmas event, everyone. Uh, of course, there is the auction, might not make a video about it, but there is the auction as well, where you can get the tanks and stuff as well. Probably have a video about that later. But yeah, that is the Christmas event for this year. Of course, you can get the free snow globe, which I recommend to go for uh, before the Type 62, because every tank in there is better than a Type 62 to get. It's all higher tiers or, you know, better. But yeah, that is the Christmas event, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.